What's up? It's Paul here from Guitar World. I am here at the Dan Electro booth at the Dan 2024 show with none other than Mr. Steven Rittinger. Steve, this is one of the new pedals that you're showing. Yeah, this is a reissue of a pedal I made in high school at age 14. I designed this and there was no access to schematics, so I just had to kind of figure it out. A few years ago, I thought, why don't we try to do this again? The problem is we didn't have one, didn't have a schematic, so we took some pictures from the effects database in Germany, and from that we could figure out the circuit board, and we built one as the wow. So I just sent one of these to Joe Perry, he loves it, he's on my board. The key to this is the architecture is very different than any other pedal because it wasn't based on anything else. And so even now we don't have a pedal that does what this one does. The drive and fuzz controls are very interactive and you have a great fuzz effect without any diode clipping, which means you can back down the, the guitar volume and, you can, and it cleans up well and you can cord it, which is with a diode clipping fuzz is really hard to do. So, yeah, very special. It's special to me because I sold about 3,000 of these in high school and haven't touched it since. And I think we hold the record for reissuing a pedal 58 years after it first came on the market. I, I don't think anyone else has done that, but you can fact check us. I'm going to take a look, but I'm, I, I tried to find an original. It'll probably be next to impossible, but now we have this <laughs> to make it happen. We couldn't find one, but uh, they do exist. I think the photo's on the effects database uh, show But I do out. love the idea of the fact that here is an original, to me, uh, an interesting circuit where you're blending both fuzz and overdrive yeah, yeah. in one circuit. And you have a switch to where it was a mid-shift in stock as yeah. the original intention. Yeah, the original pedal, I called it a fuzz. In fact, I named it the Liverpool fuzz, but that name's now being used. But it actually wasn't a fuzz. It was somewhere between a fuzz and a drive. And the, the name Nickel 66, Nichols is where I live with my parents. It's a canyon above Hollywood. And uh, interestingly, while I was working on this in 1966, about two miles away in Laurel Canyon, all this incredible uh, music was being created by Crosby, Stills and Nash and John Lennon and the Eagles and all that. It's actually this great, you might have seen a documentary called Echo Canyon. And the canyon, yes. Yeah, by Jacob Dylan, Bob yep. Dylan's son. But anyway, so this has some great history, a great story, but in the end, it's a great pedal. If it's a great story and the pedal sucks, well then you got nothing. But I think it's something, I think it's something unique and uh, we'll see what players do with it. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't wait to try it out and I'm really happy that like some of the stuff that you just released here has been fantastic and Well, big thank fan. you, thank you. Again, Steve Rittinger here, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you.